Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to start the structural relations in syntax. First, we have to handle the following expressions. They are titled as the parts of a syntactic tree. So before going through the syntactic tree, how to analyze a sentence in syntax by drawing a tree. So first, we have to handle these expressions. First, we have something called branch, node, branching, non-branching, label, root node, terminal node, non-terminal node, and intervening node. And beside that, we will get an idea about the uh, family tree names in syntax, of course. So at the beginning, it's good to have um, a tree. It is not a real tree, but it is just to uh, get the expressions. So suppose that we have this tree that starts by A, and under it we have two branches. So at the beginning, we will call these two lines and the other lines similar to them as branches. Okay, so going back to the file, we will get that a branch is a line that connects two parts of the tree. And this is obvious. As we see, this branch connects A with C, and this branch connects A with B, and so on. Now, these names, I mean A, B, C, and the other ones that we may have, are called the nodes. So in this tree, in this simple tree, we have three nodes. The first one is A node, then B node, then C node. And this is obvious in the file that we have. That is, node is the end of the branch. And here in number five, we have something called label. It is the name given to a node. Now, what we mean by is that in the real trees, once we have something like, for example, NP, that can consists of... For instance, um, n, okay, or n bar, then we have n. So we can say that this node um, is labeled as np, okay, and this node is labeled as n bar, and this node is labeled as n. So these are the names given to the nodes. Then we have to see uh, that for the branches, we have two parts. We have the uh, branching node and the non-branching node. So suppose that we have this tree. Okay, so simply I will get, for instance, this node. And here we will get, for example, um, C uh, or not, uh, D, uh, okay, E and F. So simply if uh, the node, okay, has two or more branches under it, so simply we will call it as branching node. So we can say that C node, I mean this one, is a branching node, which means that it has two nodes under it. Whereas for the B node, it has only one single branch under it. Because of that, we will call the B node as uh, a non-branching node. So simply, we will say uh, B node is a non-branching node. Okay, we will go back to the file just to see what we have. So the branching node means a node with two or more branches under it, of course. And the non-branching is a node that has one single branch below it. Now, we have something called root node. Okay. Now, for the root node, regarding its name, so uh, the node uh, with no lines on the top of it is called the root node. So simply, I can say... Now, for the, uh, for the uh, one that we have here, okay, so for the, uh, this tree, we can say that here we have A as a root node. Why? Because I have nothing on the top 
of this node. So simply, I can say that for this um, tree, A is the root node. Now, the other two um, uh, expressions that we have is something called terminal node and not terminal node. Okay. Now, uh, for the terminal node, it is uh, said to be that it is any node with no branches under it. So suppose that I have the same tree. So here we have B and C, and here we have, for instance, D, and here we have, uh, for example, E and F. Okay, let's, let's say. Now, the terminal node uh, in this tree are said to be the D node, the F node, and the E node. So simply we can say that E, F, and D are terminal nodes. What is the meaning of terminal? It means they have nothing, okay, uh, no branches under them. So the end of this tree is by these three nodes. Whereas uh, any node with a branch under it will be called the non-terminal node. So C is a non-terminal node. B is a non-terminal node. A is a non-terminal node. Okay, so for the other nodes inside this tree will be called non-terminal node. Okay. Now, uh, the last expression that we will get here in this uh, file is something called intervening node. And this is uh, so important, actually, in uh, the structural relations, especially in the C command. We will get what is the meaning of intervening node. So suppose that, for instance, we have this tree. Okay, we have B and we have C. And here in the middle, we have something called, for instance, G, for example. So intervening node means the node that comes between two nodes. So the G node here in this uh, tree is called, uh, is an intervening node. It means that it comes in between uh, of these two nodes. Uh, this is so important to be handled actually. Now, we will get uh, something regarding the, the, the family tree itself. Uh, we have actually some uh, names. So the first name is a mother. We have daughters, we have sisters, we have cousins, and we have uh, nieces. So simply, we can say we have A, then we have B and C, and then we have uh, D, E. Um, yeah, suppose that we have here something called F. So simply, this will be called the mother. And this is so important actually to handle before going through the structural relations and the grammatical relations as well. Uh, B and C are the daughters of A. So they are sisters. So simply we can say that B and C are sisters. Okay. They are with the same level as you notice here. And they are uh, with the same mother. So B is the daughter of A and C is the daughter of A. Now, uh, let's go ahead with uh, D and F. Uh, again, C is a mother for D and E. And B is the mother for F. So F is a daughter for B, but it has no sisters. It is alone here. Whereas D and E are sisters, they are daughters of the same mother, which is C. Okay, now let's go ahead to see who is the aunt. Since B and C are um, uh, sisters, so logically, B will be the aunt for D and E. And D and E, on the other hand, are the nieces for B. Whereas F is the cousin for D and E. This is so similar to the uh, family relations in the real life. Okay, so simply I can say uh, B and C are sisters, as you see. Uh, B is the aunt for D and E. Okay, F, D, and E are cousins. Okay, so simply we can say that the root 
uh, node will be the mother. Then we will have daughters. This is so important, actually, as I've told you before, to be handled uh, before going through the details for the structural relations. We will continue in the next video. Thank you for your hearing.